Now we are going to see the device centrifuge. The brand name of centrifuge is Genetics. There are many different kinds of centrifuge. Now we are going to see the tabletop model of the centrifuge. The main application of centrifuge is to separate particles based on its size and density by centrifugal force. Now I am going to demonstrate the parts of the centrifuge. First of all, the purpose of the centrifuge in hospitals, centrifuge used in the laboratory department. The purpose of centrifuge is to separate plasma and serum from blood cells. In research center, centrifuge is used to separate particles based on its protein synthesis for DNA and RNA analysis. So now I am going to demonstrate the part of the centrifuge device. So first you can see, this is the lid or top of the centrifuge. Inside it you can see the chamber which is having an aluminium staft with 8 holding of test tube holders. So, this is the test tube holder which is used to fold the vacuum tainer. Vacuum tainer is nothing but a plastic test tube used to fold the sample or any solution inside it. Which is having a chemical spread solution of anticoagulant based on the sample analysis. For example, for plasma detection or analysis, we are going to use ADTA anticoagulant solution. So, I am going to place my vacuum tainer inside it. The capacity of test tube is 15 ml. So, there are 8 test tube holders present here. The main thing is the note in centrifuge is position of the test tube holders. So, if I place my sample or vacuum tainer in one test tube holder, state opposite to it, I have to place another one thing for its balance maintenance or otherwise the balance maintenance will not be properly calibrated so we can't get the results properly for the rotation of the shaft here we are using rotor there are three different kinds of rotor here we are going to use swinging bucket rotor as you can see this test tube can swing around the angle of 90 degree so like this it will be in rotation at 90 degree angle so this will help to calibrate the solution has it rotation. The main principle of the centrifuge is sedimentation. So during sample analysis or calibration at the high rotation the high density particles will settle down due to radial acceleration and the lower density particle will settle on the upper layer. So the higher density particles are called as pellet and lower density particles are called as supernullant. So now I am going to demonstrate the operation of the centrifuge. First I am going to on my centrifuge device. So it has AC power supply so I am going to on my device. So you can see this red LED light indicating that device is in on condition. So there is a speed regulation for the speed adjustment in this centrifuge device. As you can see the minimum speed is 1 to maximum speed to 5. So if I adjust the speed of this device you can adjust the speed of the centrifuge process. So we have to spin the point 3 as you can see the rotation will be in 90 degree angle of the piston. So the main point to note in centrifuge is during application you must not open this lid for the safety purpose. For demonstration I have opened and showed you how the rotation will be done. So this is the practical application of the centrifuge.